guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about grapeseed oil from Avat. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Avat the company, then I want to talk about the product itself. Finally, I want to give you my opinion of it. My name is Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. I call it Avat, or A-V-A-T. The full name is Appalachian Valley Natural Products and Anatolian Treasures, or A-V-N-P. Now to further complicate the matter, there's another website out there called Ancient Healing Oils, and they look like they're copycats of each other. Now, the story behind these two websites is interesting. So Avat used to be a wholesale only company. It was owned by a man called Butch Owens. And Ancient Healing Oils was and is still owned by a man called John Krosky. Now John was a customer of Avat. Well eventually Butch decided to retire, John bought the company, and he kept these um, companies and websites as two distinct entities. And now my opinion is they both had really good reputations, um, they've been around for a while, so he decided why change a good thing. However, he did make one important change and that was he opened it to the public. So what does this mean? You don't have to have a business and there's no minimum order. So I simply purchase oils for myself and my family. Um, I don't have a business or anything like that, so I'm very glad to be able to order from you know, get wholesale prices and also not have a minimum order. Now, in order to get free shipping, you do have to spend $39 and then you get free shipping within the continental US. If you're outside of that area, he has something called shared international shipping. I have no direct experience with that. But from what I understand, what he does is he will get you a quote and then somehow you guys split the cost of shipping. Um, and of course, you're responsible for any taxes, duties, or fees, or what have you, when that product comes into the country. Now with every order, you get three free 75 cent samples. So I'm gonna show you guys what that is. This is what you would get, and you choose. So his essential oils are three tenths of a milliliter, and then his carrier oils, he says are one milliliter. I really feel like it's more. I feel like this is a five milliliter container, but I haven't measured it, so I can't talk about that for sure. Now, there is another website out there called Eden Botanicals, and they also have samples. Um, so their samples at Eden Botanicals are $2 and you get one milliliter. Now to get one milliliter from a vat, I would have to purchase three samples. So that's a total of $2.25. So Eden Botanicals is cheaper. However, there's two reasons why I purchased from a vat. First of all, for about the same price, I get to try three oils instead of one, and their free shipping is set at $39, whereas Eden Botanicals is set at $49. Now, with all that being said, I still have a wish list, and I do have products that I want to order from Eden Botanicals, um, simply because not one company is gonna have every single oil or carry oil that I wanna try. So in the future, you know, maybe next year or the following, because I'm trying to work through the oils that I have, I will be purchasing from Eden Botanicals. Um, so with the samples, like I said, 75 cents. However, not all their samples are gonna be that price. So when you have more precious, expensive oils, prickly pear seed oil, for example, or rose essential oil, or rose absolute, what have you, they are going to be more expensive. Um, sometimes he goes below cost. So what does that mean? He's either not making any money or he's losing money on the samples, and he says that he does this because he thinks everybody should have the opportunity to try these precious oils. And that's something I've really come to appreciate is samples. So I do purchase from Plant Therapy and I have oils from Eden's Garden as well. And their prices are pretty good, especially when compared to these MLMs that just jack up their prices beyond belief. So um, lemon, for example, that's a popular oil, a very simple oil from Eden Garden or you know Plant Therapy, is gonna be less than $10. I think it's like seven or eight dollars or something for 10 milliliters. However, if I want to try a sample, 75 cents still beats, you know, seven or eight dollars. So one thing is price, and the second thing is the precious resources that it takes to uh, create an essential oil. Um, so, you know, you, you are using a large uh, amount of plant material in order to create this essential oil. So if I have 10 milliliters of an oil that I don't like, I'd either have to force myself to use it, give it away, or sell it and deal with that. I'd rather just use, you know, a few drops, like six or 10 drops, um, of a sample and try that. And also, like I said, due to the price, I can try these precious oils that I just can't justify purchasing right at the moment. So that's um, the samples. Now, some other things that he saves money on. Um, like I said, he's wholesale. His website is super basic. If you compare it to Eden's Garden and Plant Therapy, like it can't hold a can to it to it. They do, of course, have basic information. You've got country of origin. Here's the extraction method, like cold press, the refinement, refined or unrefined. He often says this, it's wildcrafted or organic. He's gonna give you a basic description. The reviews on his website are years old and there's no um, way I can review a product now. It seems like he's taken off that option. So it is super basic. Um, 
And he does have the GCMS test results available. These are done in-house. Um, and I know some people want third-party um, independent labs. Um, I do know there are some essential oil companies out there that don't even provide their GCMS test results available to the public. I really think it comes down to trust um, and whether or not you're going to trust the company. Um, so there are a lot of legitimate companies out there. So if any company tells you, oh, we only have pure oils, they're lying through their teeth. Don't purchase from them. Um, some other things that he does is he has social media. So he's got Facebook and Instagram, but he's not that active on there. Um, and he does have a newsletter that he puts out every once in a while. So his labels, are another way to save money. Very, very simple, nothing special at all. Um, and the last way that I can think of is they are located in a small town and they get their boxes to package their material from their local high school. I like this because he's saving money and passing on the savings to me, but he's also kind of concerned about his carbon footprint and keeping these boxes out of the recycling um, and letting them be used one more time. So that is a lot of information about that. I want to tell you guys about the grapeseed oil that I got. So I don't really like grapeseed oil. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. So I got this for free. Um, it's from Italy. It's organic and it's cold pressed. Um, and I'm not really sure whether it's refined or unrefined because I got this for free when he was having um, a deal. So I purchased $39 worth of products, mainly essential oils. Um, but I think I purchased a hydrosol as well. And he had, I think it was like 15% off that he was offering. Um, and he was giving away an eight ounce thing of um, grapeseed oil. So I thought I would get it. I feel like grapeseed oil is a very basic oil. Like I would use it in body butters. I do make my own body butters, you know, as kind of a filler oil, a very cheap oil to fill it with. Um, on his website now that I've seen, um, he has solvent, ex sorry, he has solvent expressed ones. I um, mean, has refined ones as well, and I really have no idea which one this is that he has. Um, I don't like it just because I'm not a fan of grapeseed oil. I do feel like it's a very basic essential oil. It is great for massage. Some other things that it's really good for is it's an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So people say like for eczema, or sorry, not eczema, for acne, it can help a lot with that. The fatty acid profile, if you follow that, and I don't understand that much about it, but it's 64% linoleic acid um, is the main part that it has on there. So I am continuing to use this. Um, another reason that I don't like it is because it has a very short shelf life. It's six to 12 months, and that depends on how you store it. I store, um, I said all, but there's some that I don't store in the refrigerator. Most in the refrigerator. This keeps them away from heat and light. And these are two things that can damage your oils and essential oils. So you do have to use it rather quickly. Um, I would, since I keep it in the fridge, I keep this one in the fridge, probably last about um, 12 months. But I feel like a lot of the cheaper oils out there, apricot kernel oil and grapeseed oil, um, olive oil as well, are just, I don't know, they're just, I use them as filler ingredients for my body butter. That's the extent of DIY that I do. So I've given you guys tons of information about that. I've told you guys about the product. So I wanna show you guys just how light it is. It is kind of a green color. Um, what does it smell like? It does not smell like grapes at all. It smells a bit like oil, like most of the oils do. So I want to hear from you guys. If you've ever purchased anything from that, what did you purchase and what did you think of it? And also, um, let me know about grapeseed oil, uh, if you like it and how you use it. I really enjoy reading your comments, so please leave one below. Like this video and give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I will see you guys later.